sees it. Looking for number 1,500. And the 0-2 to Kevin Pillar. And he got him, and there it is. He's got to throw that ball in. Someone's got to be on it. 1,500 career strikeouts. Throw that ball in, Chris. Faster than anybody in history for Chris Sale. And away we go. Last of the 11th, tied at seven. Nobody out. But Norris delivers. Edwin drills it. Deep left. It is gone, and the Indians win it. How do you like them apples? A walk-off grand slam. Now from City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major League Baseball on MLB Network. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. Who will get the better of this compelling matchup? We'll find out next on MLB Network. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be Leading fun to watch him work in this one here today. Center Standing fielding. in, Brett Gardner. He'll Gardner. get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch on its way. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Now the 0 1. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Hit back up the middle. Rosario's got it. Throw not in time, so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may see that last call challenged here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the Ladies final decision. And gentlemen, the Mets have decided to challenge. All right, the so here's play. one final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way. But I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off. And the runner Upon is safe review, at first as originally called. So they will lose the ability the to challenge for the remainder right of the game. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Judge. He fittingly gets the nickname All Rise. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers. But from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher pound in that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge. I'm okay with that. With that, here's a look at the Yankees starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Taking a look at this lineup, they're gonna have to work the count. That's the key to success right here. They have to find a way to drive this guy's pitch count up and get into that bullpen as quick as possible. Stepping up now, Giancarlo Stanton. In previous duels with DeGrom, he checks in with a headline grabbing 409 batting average. He's also taken him deep four times. And there's ball one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. The one two 
is swung on and missed. He got him. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. One count. Here's the pitch. In there. Now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So he swipes second successfully. But you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt. But I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied. So that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. And a fastball swung on and missed. And his side is retired. Yanks leave one. Yankees turned away early. Mets coming to bat. It's the Subway Series on MLB Network. Luis Severino gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Thanks, Matty. Luis Severino, big, big arm. 97 to 100 miles an hour. Bounce between the rotation and the bullpen. Good hard slider. His changeup's getting better. The true definition of an ace. Into the box, Brandon Nimmo. It lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The Center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yeah. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The 1 1 home. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with and nobody second. out. Left fielder, Yoannis. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's 0 for 5. He's set. Here it comes. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Severino has a reputation or a knack if you will for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there a lot of relief pitchers are known for that obviously but as a starter that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have Matty and I'm going to tell you who likes this the bullpen likes it and the manager likes this because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams this guy's made a living doing this in his career. Runners on the move for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal, but it didn't work out. And that slider must have been low. It's ball three. Due next is the dangerous Jay Bruce. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like right that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up or he can really hurt you. So a runner at first with one man gone and stepping in the dangerous left handed hitter Jay Bruce. First offering on its way. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Cespedes a runner at first with one gone in the inning. And that slider is almost in the dirt.
And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Strike two called and it's even at two. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup. So I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gregorius moving to his left. And that's the second out of the inning. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I'm really going to have to keep a close eye on Brandon Nimmo. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Here's Todd Frazier now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. First pitch of the at bat. And that one just missed outside. Strike. Now the one and one pitch takes a pitch for strike number two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. One two is an off speed pitch no dice it's two and two. Popped him up. Bird waits on it. And that ends the inning. Mets leave one and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. The first baseman, number 33, Greg Bird. The pitch. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1-0. The 1-0. Fires the zone, strike one. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though, that fastball that's high in the zone. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul for the second strike. The one two. High in the air and a shallow left center. Cespedes is there. One out. Okay, here's how the Mets are lining up defensively. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. At the plate, Didi Gregorius. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one right down Main Street. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Dribbled to the right side. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. No score here as we play inning number two. This is on the ground over to first. Gonzalez is up with it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. That is seven, second baseman. Digging in the switch Neil hitter, Walker. Neil Walker. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. A changeup over the inside corner. Well, even though these two teams are in different leagues, they do play each other every year because of the crosstown rivalry, and it's always pretty fun. Yeah, and for the players, Matt, they love it. Not only is there more on the line than usual, like bragging rights, but 
they're not having to stay at hotels and all that. It's just like a normal home game where they're driving to a different ballpark. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Brandon Drury will bat next. Owen won the count. Drury, a native Oregonian. He was a 13th round pick back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. To one and two now. That's a ball. Missed with a slider. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Ready with another 2 2. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. One left for the Yankees. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Here's Adrian now, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Adrian Gonzalez. First pitch coming, here it is. Tough slider down low for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. In there, 1 and 2 now. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. One down. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Next up for New York as Drupal Cabrera as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A change up that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Hey when one of your better pitches is the straight change up you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time and. Hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. The 1-1 one, one home is in there for the second strike. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Now Cabrera swings and misses on a good pitch that time as he's rung up for route number two. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's one for three. That misses. One ball and one strike here to the Mets backstop. Darno stands 6 2 as you see him in the right handed box. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned it. Wow, hold on. What an incredible diving catch. He laid all the way out for that one, and that's the third out of the inning. That's as good a play as you're going to see a second baseman make, and he does it to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So now the pitcher for the Yankees, Luis Severino, 9 1 and 2 do up. Number 40, Luis Severino. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss.
swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well, there's the great equalizer, the change of El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. The 2 1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, right fielder, Aaron. Here's Brown. big Aaron Judd. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And the pitch. Try to check it, and it's 0 and 1. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Wave dad and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Oh, and that was a big mistake right there. This guy might be their best base stealing threat in the lineup. So now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. The pitcher, Jacob DeGrom, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Number nine. Digging in for his second at bat, Brandon Nimmo. He reached on a single in his first try. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Fastball called for strike two. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 1-0. -oh. 
is in there for strike one. That counts one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Rosario stands at second with two gone. So the changeup that catches the corner. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Three innings in the books, no score on MLB Network. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Up Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. He swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And it's 0 and 2 to Sanchez. Two mid 90s fastballs, and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop commit. You're either all in on another fastball, or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Gary well, Sanchez goes down to become the first Ray. out here in the fourth. Sure. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box, Greg Bird. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A ball and a strike now to Bird. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack, kept his hands inside the ball, and tipped with the pitcher gave. Here's Didi Gregorius. Tapped up the first baseline. Step on the bag for one. And he is in there. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. Here's Neil Walker. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A base hit in his first trip. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. And Cespedes will put this one away to retire the side. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 New York. Leading off the inning, Jay Bruce. And they'll Leading need him the to get inning. something going here. Right fielder, Jay. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. 
And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. The 2 1 home is in there for strike number two. Here now, the 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Great A.B. so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. High in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Stanton at the track. And it's gone. A solo shot there for Jay Bruce as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up at the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Third and now, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Frazier, or the Todd Father, as he's affectionately called, who was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. One ball and two strikes to count. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Into the box now, Adrian Gonzalez. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Flyed out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. And that misses two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. One out, nobody on. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Waiting on deck is Drubal Cabrera. And that'll miss. It's ball four, and down to first goes Adrian. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit, so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. First offering on its way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. A dangerous change up to miss high width that stayed out of the zone. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Gonzalez, base runner at first with one out.
Line drive base hit. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. Now batting. Take a look at this again in slow motion. He tracks this thing all the way, gets his hands quickly through the zone, and just rips it down the left field line, just how they draw it up. Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Gonzalez on second. Cabrera was over at first with one away. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works to count back full. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Payoff pitch on its way. This is popped up. Bird has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The batter number one, shortstop. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ahmed Rosario. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Gonzalez at second. Cabrera on at first with two down. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. The one two. Misses ball two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. Here now the 2 2. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Ripped down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And he fouls this one off. Gonzalez over at second. Cabrera at first, two out in the inning. Ground to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Up next Many guys left. fall victim to the Edgar. breaking ball and want to get Edgar. out in front of it. And they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back, and drive it the other way. Standing in now, Jacob DeGrom. And he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. 0 oh 1, here's the pitch. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Judge ranging back. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch him all on the grand slam, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game.
And that is why you just can't put yourself in a bases loaded situation. You've got nowhere to put the hitter, and he knows it. So he sets up, waiting to pounce, and that's exactly what he does. Jumping all over this thing for a grand slam. Up next and here's the, the former first-round draft Better choice, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. Yes, he'll pick Nimmo. on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. You're seeing this lineup eyes light up when this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. Not only is he missing over the heart of the plate, he's missing the pump. That's an excellent job right there to make him pay once again. Here's your one Cespedes. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He went down on strikes last time up. Line to the right side, but foul. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Checked his got? swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. The one two. Misses for the second ball. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make him bring up something straight in the strike zone. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. And gone up into the second deck. It's a two-run shot here for Joanna Cespedes as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby, d -roll. Ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both now lineups today. We were around the right cage during David. batting practice. Hey. Both were super confident, Ooh. and it's coming to fruition today. And the Mets just keep right on rolling, as this is good for extra bases as well. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Wow, he almost blew that fastball by him, but he showed some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll make a beeline for the showers, I'm sure, as he's going to want to put this awful night behind him as quickly as possible. Adam Warren answers the call from now the pen here in the, the fourth as they didn't Number get the outing they were hoping for from Adam their starter. Warren. Here's Todd Frazier now. Now Frazier with a drive. Well hit out to deep left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Two run homer that time for Todd Frazier as they've widened this lead to eight now. Adrian. Here's Adrian now. Pop foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Warren. 
Originally from the state of Alabama, he was a fourth round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The one two is looked at for ball number two. A long inning as they've hung a nine spot on him to this point. That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. This is flared out towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder top, no and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft one. liner in the center field. Dribble, Cabrera. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one a hit in two tries for him so far. Got him to go after that one and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2 in today's game if you're not disciplined for striking out why would you change your approach with two strikes right here expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judge is under it. And that's the third out. But not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Mets nine and the Yankees one. Brandon Drury will bat next. He leads off this half Getting inning in what the they hope will be a rebuttal Very to all those man. runs they just Brand gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Oh, one pitch on its way. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now the one and one pitch just catches the inside corner for strike two. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. Count even at two and two. The two two. Just hung in there on that one. Here's another two two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Ronald Torres will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's two for three. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Hit on the ground out for short. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Now batting number 11, center fielder. Here's Brett Gardner now. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Good hard slider there but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. One run four hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. 
Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Still even at two and two. All even at two and two here it is. And another foul ball. Another try at 2 2. He stays alive, still 2 and 2. Another 2 2 offering. Hit in the air to right field. Gonzalez has a play and the inning is over so the Yanks go one two three they trail big it's nine to one Chad Green gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out he's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys ready once again Travis Garneau he's hitless in his two at bats so far Travis Garno. First pitch of the at bat. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Liner towards second. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Hey guys, that's the danger of falling behind in the show. You miss over the heart of the play with count leverage, you're going to pay for it. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. Looks at a sinker over the inside part of the plate. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Darno on it first. Nobody out. Popped high in the air. Drury is under it, no problem. One away. Now batting. Trying to well, pick things up where we left Pitcher. off. Jacob DeGrom, who could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. Darno stands at first with one out. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting. Now back to the top Better of the Mets order. Digging in, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. Scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Gregorius is there. And that ends the inning. Mets strand one, but they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Digging in to try it again. Aaron Judge is set to lead us off in the sixth inning. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One ball, no strikes to count. On its way is pitch number 75. Fouled away. A high, two and one now. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so 
This has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That was a pretty good fastball, and it now almost batting. got by him. Left but he's fielder. able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Giancarlo Stanton now as he lines it out to center and that's in there base hit judge rounds third and is digging for the plate he will score as they inch back here but there's still a ways to go Dan right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Were you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even notice where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out, swinging the bat. Bro, just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. The first baseman, number 33. Greg Digging in and looking Bird. for more, Greg Bird. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. And try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Up for me, for check Yankees. swings are right there Rock next shot. to bang bang plays at mm -hmm. first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Here's Didi Gregorius. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And he's in safely at third, as a run will score on the play as well. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch Walker. comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. Here's Neil Walker. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Nimmo. And that retires the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Mets lead this one nine to three. Ready for another chance? Joanna Cespedes comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. That's oh, wide, 2-0. Oh. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. On the ground is second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball. He didn't miss it. Nice swing right there, driving it into the outfield. Here's Jay Bruce now. So far, two for three in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and The 1-0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Now the 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge going back. Gone into the upper tank. A two run homer for Jay Bruce. His second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. That last at bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run. But listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and one the count now. Bases are empty here, nobody out. One two and it's fouled away. The one two swing and a little tapper but it gets fouled. The one two. Oh that hit him. Let's hope he's OK. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Digging in once again, Adrian Gonzalez. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. A ball and no strikes. Still only one out in the inning. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. Throw right there and that takes care of Gonzalez. Two gone now. The batter, second baseman. And Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Cabrera. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Taken by Walker. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Brandon Drury will bat next. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Skied into straightaway right. Bruce has a read on it, makes the play one away. Jacoby Ellsbury will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Ellsbury. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 and 1. In previous duels with DeGrom, he has a 3 for 12 line. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. One ball, one strike to count. Here's the 1 1. A breaking ball taken on the inner corner. 
That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Two out, nobody on. The bouncer up the middle. Oh, and Cabrera bobbles it. Up next for the Yankees, right fielder, Aaron Judge. Digging in and looking for more, Aaron Judge. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even one and one. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. The Yanks leave one, and it's not going to help them. It's 11 to three. Tommy Kingley enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Tommy Kingley. Ready for another shot now. Up, Travis Garneau. He steps Jackson. in off a base hit in his Travis last at bat. Garneau. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Up next for the match. The shortstop. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the stretch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all now ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice center. Stepping in now, Jacob deGrom. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. You could tell he had made up his mind in the batter's box that he was taking that one with him. Great execution of a changeup. Kind of spoiled his plan right there. Now a bunt attempt here. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Center fielder number nine. And here's the former first round Nimmo. draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets leave one. They're still in command, however. It's 11 to 3. Giancarlo Stanton now. He homered earlier Came and is two for game. three to this point. Left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. Now batting. And a look there at the starter comparison, telling the story of the ball game. One guy still going and pitching well, the other one long since departed for the showers. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And a fastball is in there for strike one. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed. 
calibrate the break and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Looking to send him packing again. High fly ball out to deep right field. Back goes Bruce. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez, but they still face a seven run deficit. Well, some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight, but I'm not one of them. I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable, and at least they're still battling. The first baseman, number 33, Greg Bird. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he was able to only get that first out in the eighth, but nonetheless, he'll depart with the lead. You're Zach Wheeler three. gets the call as now he'll pitch with one man. gone in the top of the eighth. Number 45, Zach Wheeler. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Wheeler, a 27-year-old, he was a first-round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. You can see that this wasn't that difficult to play as it headed up the middle, but it might have taken a funny hop there. He couldn't make the play on it. E6 all the way. Here's Didi Gregorius as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He tripled last time up. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Missed with a slider. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to 1-2 and two now. Bird, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Curve ball bounces and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. Now about it. Here's Neil Second Walker. Basement. It was a flyout for him in Walker. his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Cabrera's up with it. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Yankees forced to settle for one. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Mets out in front, 11 to 4. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Leading off for the Mets. Left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. The 2 0 on the way. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Bird is under it. He's got it one away. A look at our line score thus far. Already seven home runs between these two clubs combined. The ball's really been jumping out of here throughout the contest. Here's Jay Bruce now. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. 
This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that that is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. behind 0 and 2 now bases are empty one man out. the 0 2 once more and he just barely makes contact there as this is fouled at the plate and it remains nothing in two. The next 0 2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bruce around the bag, heading for second now. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hit. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. Here's Todd Frazier now as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. A ball and a strike. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Bruce. Runner at second with one away. Ah, uh, got him on a good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now batting number 23. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth and stepping in now the slugging first baseman Adrian Gonzalez. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. Now a swing from Adrian and this is on the ground out to second and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Met strand one they lead it though 11 to four. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Digging in once again Brandon Drury starting things for his side Pretty in the ninth as they face the Pretty improbable Pretty odds Brandon of trying to come Drury. back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Now the 1 0. Popped him up. Frazier is there one quick out to start inning number nine. Up next for the Yankees. I want to remind you folks that coming up after the ball game comprehensive highlights from the contest tonight as we look back on all the action right here on the show. Tyler Wayne will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And he tries to hold back on the swing but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now here it comes. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away. But the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute for that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate this guy's still going to be ready. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Tyler Wade is retired and now they're down to their final out in this one. Here's Brett Gardner now. 
swing and a line drive. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Around first, here's Gardner on his way to second. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Next for New York, Aaron Judge, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. No nope. too high. One and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And if you're looking for when this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, and they made it stand up the rest of the way. 11-4 at the end of this affair. New York sent five balls over the wall to come out on top in this one. Jacob deGrom is the winning pitcher of record. Luis Severino is slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets, 11 runs, 15 hits. One error, they left six men on base. For the Yankees, four runs on ten hits. No errors, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. Tonight's state attendance at City Field, 45,000. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please